Hi, this is Asing. You are now watching Asing SL TV. Today, we would like to show you how to create user login form. Firstly, I would convert the range of user IDs as well as the passwords to enter form of a table, as this would allow me to add or remove users whenever needed without changing VBA code. Next, go to Formulas tab, click on Manager, Edit, and change the name if needed. I would change to Login. Click on OK and close the window. And we can now go to Developer tab, which is basic to write the code. Before that, of course, we need a user form. So let's insert. I would change the capital of this user form to log in. Then insert a label. For this label, I would use it as user ID. Scroll down and customize the font if needed. I would like to use Calibri regular with size 14. Click on OK. Resize this label if needed. Then copy and paste it. Move this label to the desired position and change the caption to password. Next, let's insert text box to allow the user to key in their user ID as well as the password. We could also customize the font. I would use the same font type and font size. Simply type something in the text box and check if the wordings of the label and the text box lie on the same level. If they are not, under properties, scroll and look for for the top position, adjust manually. For example, let's change to a bigger number, let's say 8. Press on enter, readjust until they line on the same level. Next, delete the text, click on the text box, copy and paste it. Also, move to the desired place. Then, repeat exactly the same step so that the text line on the same level. Lastly, we need a command button. Insert at the desired place. I would change the caption to OK and the back color to palette green. Don't forget to customize the font as well. Use the same style, click on OK, then resize the user form if needed. Next, let's double click on the command button to write the code. Firstly, let's set a dummy, let's say ID to be this table. We have equal to the table which is in sheet 1. We have to make use of the dot list objects property opening parenthesis type the name of this table in terms of string which means that we need quotation mark type exactly how we name it just now closing parenthesis next is to create condition by using if statement I would check the password which is me dot text box 2 if it is matched with the user ID I will make use of worksheet function that is the V lookup function opening parenthesis the value we are going to look up here is the user id which is me dot text box one comma the table firstly let's convert to range as v lookup will not work on table this is why we have to convert the table back to range comma the second column closing parenthesis if this is the case, then I will prompt a message box and say welcome type as string. After that, close the user form, which is unload me. If this is not the case, we have else. I will have a message box saying that you are not authorized to use this workbook. And I'm going to close this workbook so the workbook is closing. If I need a title for this message box, then I have to provide the second argument which I need only will be the OK button comma type the title in terms of string as well for example access deny and with quotation mark then I would close this user form that list on loop me since the user is not authorized to use this workbook of course I'm going to close this workbook by using application dot quick start with if of course we have to end with if and the coding part for this login form is now done. Let's click on the run button to test the code. Try for the user ID is not found in this table. For example, 1 and click on OK. We receive an error message. This is because the VLOOKUP function would return error 
if it couldn't find the value to overcome this issue before the if statement let's make use of this arrow hunter we have on arrow i would go to one let's label this line as one now let's run it again any id not from the table click on ok so we have the correct message when we click on ok the workbook is closing i'm going to save first now let's open the workbook and back to developer tab and visual basic let's double click on this workbook from the list of objects select workbook make sure we are using open procedure let's call the user form so we have user form one dot show save this workbook close it reopen the workbook and we should have this login form when the workbook is open let's say we try for the correct pair let's try for the second pair d8436 and the correct password bracket capital o c79 capital s49 click on ok so welcome we can edit this workbook let's try for the wrong password close this workbook reopen the workbook simply input any pair that was not found from the table click on ok so we are not allowed to use this workbook and the workbook is closing when we click on ok the workbook is closed as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you